Hello, my amazing artists. Now that we've looked at artist TC Cannon and how he uses colors to create mood in his artwork, let's create our own version of his piece, All the Tired Horses in the Sun. Now for this project, I'm gonna recreate a horse, but you are welcome to do any other animal, or if you wanna do a figure, you can also do a figure. You can look at the other pictures of his artwork to get some inspiration. For this project, you're gonna need a pencil to draw the animal with. You're gonna need a black Sharpie, oil pastel, or crayon to trace, and then something to color with. Now you can use whatever you like to color with. I'm gonna go with markers just because I wanna get some bright, bold colors, but oil pastels also work very well. So let's get started. To begin our project, we're gonna draw a horse figure down near the bottom of our paper. I'm gonna start by making a circle shape for the top part of the horse's head. Now I'm gonna do this a little bit lightly because I am gonna to have to erase part of this picture. The next step is to make the muzzle of the horse. So I'm gonna bring from this side of the circle, I'm gonna bring it down on both sides. So it's starting to look like a cone a little bit. And then I'm gonna round off the end of this shape. Now this line right here, I don't need anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase that line. So now I have the shape for my horse's head. The next step is to add some ears. So in this case, our horse is sort of looking off this way. So the ears of the horse are gonna be here. Now TC Cannon just made two triangle shapes one here in the front and another one kind of tucked in the back for the ears. The next step is to make the horse's neck. So our horse's neck is gonna come off in this direction and then its body is gonna come down this way. Okay, so now I'm going to bring the neck, I'm gonna start here where the ear is, and I'm going to go up, curve up, and then bring it down. Up and down like that. I'm gonna do this side of the neck. So kind of where this round shape met my cone, I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna follow the circle a little bit and then I'm gonna curve back out like this. Now I'm gonna make this side of the body. So he actually had a curve or a circle shape for the body. So we're gonna start here and curve down and then make the leg coming down. Now I'm gonna show the other leg. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here and make this side of the leg and it's gonna come to a point as it goes to the bottom of my paper. I'm gonna make a little curve line here just to show where the two legs meet. And then I'm going to make a curve line down for this leg. So this is one horse. You can leave it like this or you can add a second horse. Now the second horse in his picture, you actually only see the back end of the horse. So if you're gonna do the second horse, this one's gonna be a little bit easier to draw. You're gonna start kind of next to this one with a curved line. Then you're gonna bring that curve around and in, and then you're gonna go down. Do this side, around and in and down. Then you want to erase where the two horses cross like that. Now let's add some details. So for this horse I'm going to add a tail that kind of comes from the center and just waves down to the bottom of the paper. I'm going to do that on both sides. Just wave down. On this horse, I'm gonna see the mane that kind of flows behind the horse. So I can show some of the mane flowing down here. You can also do some mane up here. He doesn't have that in his picture, but you are welcome to add that. Now I'm gonna add the saddle for both horses. So for this horse, the saddle comes around and down. And then there's this 
what I call wishbone shape of a saddle where the rider holds onto the saddle. So this curves up over here on this side. So on another curve. And then the wishbone comes up. And when I get to the top, I stop and I make this bump. And then I go back to the other side. And I'm going to erase the inside part of that because that's my saddle. And then there's another one of those bumps over here. So I come up, make another bump, and go back down, and then I can show kind of the inside there. If you have a second horse, you want to kind of do the same thing. Start with a curve. This would be where the blanket is that goes under the saddle. And then from this hump, I'm going to make that sort of wishbone shapes. I'm going to come up, make that bump, go back down, make a little line in here to show the saddle. Now the last thing we need to do is just add some details to the horse's face. I'm going to erase this part of the circle. I'm going to add an eye for my horse. Now he would do just a little dot, but you are welcome to make it bigger. I'm going to add a little nostril for my horse right here. And then I'm just going to add some little marks where I would want to put some dots or some colors as he had in his horse. So I'm just kind of adding some little splotches all the way down, some on the legs just to fill up that space. And now this one has a bunch of little circles on it, so I'm not going to draw all those but I am gonna add those later. Okay, so now let's do something to the background. Now his backgrounds are pretty simple, but we have so much of it, we wanna do something. So he did a bunch of different organic circle shapes in his. You can do lines, zigzags, whatever you wanna do up in your background. I'm gonna just keep mine simple too. So I'm gonna start with a horizon line behind my horse. And this doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. Just make a little line. I want to show some hills as he has in his. So I want to make some little lines to show hills. And there's some coming up here, just like that. And then I'm going to fill up my sky with some kind of shapes. And again, I'm keeping mine very similar to his, but you are welcome to make zigzags or star shapes or lines or whatever you want to fill it up with. There we go. Okay. So now I have all of the basic shapes. Now I'm going to go back with my Sharpie and trace over the shapes to make them darker and make them stand out. So when I color, you can really see my drawing. If I were to just color right now, it would cover up some of my drawing. So I'm just going to go back and trace very carefully. You may want to go slow and concentrate when you do this. And I'm just going to go ahead and trace all of my shapes. All right, now we're ready to color. Now there's a few things that I want you to think about. I want you to think about what color scheme you want to use. What mood are you trying to create? So if you're gonna use lots of cool colors, you're gonna have a very calm mood, a very serene mood. If you use lots of warm colors, your mood's gonna change. It's gonna be electric and bright. If you mix the two, you're gonna create a sort of push and pull. So certain things are gonna stand out and certain things are not gonna stand out. 
So in the case of his artwork, he has one horse that's bright red. So that horse is going to stand out against the other horse, which is a more muted blue color. You can also practice mixing values of color. We learned in our last project that value can change the picture as well. So what I want you guys to do is start thinking about how you want to use your colors in this picture. So I'm just gonna give you a few little examples of color mixing and how that looks. And then you can go ahead and color. And again, I like to color with the side of my marker because I can cover more space that way. So have to be careful when you get to the edge that you slow down. I'm just gonna do that much because I wanna show you how you can now mix the color. So I could go in and I could take a brown and make a shadow and that's gonna create a different sort of feeling to my horse. I could change the value for lighter and I could go back with an orange tone or a yellow tone. Another thing that I can do if I have crayons or oil pastels or color pencil, is I can go back with those on top of this color and change it even more. So you can see how I can lighten this up with my crayons. I can make it darker. I can get a brown crayon and I can do the same thing and make a darker value that's gonna mute it a little bit, make it not stand out quite as much, and that's gonna change the mood. So I want you guys to play with different materials, mixing different colors. If you're too afraid to do it on your picture, if you don't wanna ruin your picture, you can always get a separate sheet of paper and you can mix some colors on here and see what they look like together. You can practice mixing your marker with your crayons and seeing how that looks. You can try to mix color pencil and you can do different things on here. And then if you get one that you really like the way it looks, like I really like the way this color looks, then you can add that to your picture, okay? All right, go ahead and finish coloring your picture. Every soldier you covered up our light One who stands in the sun One who stands in the sun artists when you're all done coloring don't forget to take a picture of your artwork and upload it to the Google Classroom. <laughs>